Hello everyone. Today I will show you a very important setting on every phone. Regardless of the model and regardless of Android, it is desirable for you to double check them. Of course, deactivate them as well, because when you buy a phone, they are active by default, they work constantly 24-7 and collect absolutely all the information that is on the phone. Firstly, they gradually consume your memory. Secondly, constant background processes and the operation of such applications that monitor everything. Of course, they also drain your battery just like that. But the most negative thing is that all this is sent somewhere to unknown servers. Where it is analyzed. How many times you used a certain application, how many times you accessed it, how many times you pressed the screen, well, and so on, even the smallest details on the phone. Everything you do is analyzed and sent somewhere. Of course, it is written that it supposedly helps improve Android. It helps send recommendations to you for using the phone. But you understand the recommendations. This is again advertising specifically for manufacturers. Yes, it is very profitable. Every manufacturer, every supplier of a particular application, of course, wants to know why you use their application and also make money from it. They are the ones who bombard you with all the ads you see. In general, now we will make the phone much better. Well, and from this, even grow a little. Support system performance by liking this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and share this video with a friend so that they also know how to do all this. Look, first of all, we need to use our Google Play Store. We won't download anything, but important settings were found there. And only through them can we get there, but to avoid downloading any additional applications. We go in from the right side. We have an avatar, we click on it. And at the bottom, there is a help feedback option, we click on it. Then, this menu appears, the top lines may vary in different phones. But I will tell you a universal way, click on the search and the help. And here, simply write the word uninstall, you may not write it completely, the line will appear. How to uninstall an application from an Android device? We need to go to this line, it takes us to this menu. And at the bottom here, Click to go to app settings. Look, on some phones, if you have a dark theme, it may not work. It may give an error. If it does, temporarily switch to a light theme to access the settings. We go here. All your applications that are on the phone are loaded here. Here we click on the more button and show system processes. Then. There is no search here, so you will have to carefully look for harmful applications that are causing all this unnecessary load on the phone. And of course, neutralize them. Look, I found the first one, this report. We go to it, clean the storage and cache, well, to neutralize everything that has already been loaded there. Here, we go back a little, go to power. Performance. It may be here, but in all phones, it will be set to optimization. It doesn't matter which application you enter, if you haven't configured anything there yourself, it will be set to optimization, set it to restricted, and then simply stop it. I go back, and here, there is a button to stop. We click it to stop forcefully. Okay. That's it. If there is a disable button, also disable it. But not all phones have it, but you need to do this anyway. Then, we go back and look for the next infection that is also here. It is even worse than the report. Honestly, now we will find it. Many who already know about these settings have already neutralized it and are, of course, set aside. This is the analytics. We go to this extension, also claim the storage and cache. If there is something to claim, if not, claim the power and performance. Set it to restricted, go back. 
and stop this application forcefully. Okay, agree. By the way, it doesn't even allow you to stop it. Look, now we will try another way in the additional settings. We have permission to change system settings enabled. We disable this function. We go back and now let's try to stop it, okay? And you can also search for a harmful application on your phone called CTist. Look for it and do exactly the same. Not everyone has this application, but mostly it is found on Chinese phones. It also tests and stores a lot of unnecessary information. And reports are also sent to the developers, let's restrict it. In general, it affects the power and performance. Well, as you can see, mine is already restricted. I have done this before, and if possible, stop it. You don't need to restart the phone, see, but this is not all. You can also go through the standard settings. And do something for the analytics in the phone. There is also digital well-being and parental control. Here, a hidden function is present, as you can see. For example, the number of locks, the number of notifications. But this is only a small part of what is controlled here. There is a lot of control. And how much time you spend on YouTube, Boomo Play, and other sources, in general, full analytics can only be found in the privacy settings. But we don't really need that. Look, click on the three dots on the right side. Data management. It takes us to this menu. By using the phone in a day, we disable this checkbox. It gives us this picture. Close access to settings. We clicked. It redirected us to another menu. And here, among these applications, you will find digital well-being. Here it is. We go here and in the allow access section, you also need to disable the slider. And now, when I go back, I press the arrow once, twice. And now, the usage of the phone in a day is disabled, but the digital well-being application will still work. If you use it, you can continue using it but no more information will be collected. In general, we have done a good thing for the phone and for saving battery power. And of course, for your privacy. Support this video by liking it, subscribing to the channel, and leaving comments.